Well, Martin, uh, not a, a day that was perhaps conducive to, to good football, but three points in the bag and a clean sheet. You must be delighted. Yeah, yeah, it was difficult conditions today. The pitch was pretty difficult to play on and uh, the wind was uh, quite strong, so it did, did make it difficult conditions, but I thought we handled them really well and I thought, um, despite the conditions, we... we played some good stuff in Dumbarton's half and scored a really sec good second goal with lo lots of little movement and passing that, that ended up with a good finish. But yeah, just overall a really good performance and a, a good result for us. Bronski with the header back to the keeper early doors, you could see as soon as it bounced on the pitch, it just killed the momentum. Yeah. But to Jay's KBS credit, you know, he was there in the right place, he followed it through and, and got the, the just reward. Yeah, he was sharp, he was onto it quickly, he, he got there first and uh, yeah, nice to get that early goal and uh, he was in a good position to capitalise on that mistake, so uh, fair play to him. And to what extent did that early goal just settle things down nicely from your point of view? I think early goals always help, you know, I think in the last uh, few games we've lost an early goal quite often and um, that, that obviously puts you on the back foot, so scoring the first goal is definitely something that helps and then I think certainly getting the second goal then is a big positive because we knew at that point we were shooting into the wind and um, we would have the wind at our back in the second half, so it was it was, uh, it was a good first half for us and in the end a good good overall game. One of the things we said on comms was we noticed a change in body language in the Dumbarton side after that second goal went in, is that something that was obvious to you guys as well? Uh, not really. I mean, I was just more focused on what we were doing. I thought, I thought towards the end of the the first half, we actually did a, we did really well getting into the other half and keeping the ball for quite a long time. And so, um, even though there was there was a, a, a strong wind at Dumbarton's back, they weren't really getting out of their half too much. So yeah, then the second half, I thought we, we managed things well. I wasn't really too much thinking about them, but um, from our point of view, I thought it was a it was a good uh, bounce back from a disappointing result last week. And I think the players showed a lot of, a lot of pride, a lot of professionalism, a lot of character and uh, did a lot of things well today. You've spoken in some of your other interviews about you know, wanting to cut out silly mistakes at the back and a bit of pride in the clean sheet and yep. you must be delighted then to, to get that today. Yeah, it's it's the basic things that have to be done well and I think sometimes uh, we, we can lose sight of that and, and today we just absolutely got those things right and, and that made a big difference. You know, If you're, if you're solid, you're hard to break down and um, then you're good, gonna be able to win games and I think today we, we really didn't give up hardly any chances, hardly any shots. And that's that's the basis that you need to have to get clean sheets. How happy are you today with how your team managed the game after going 2-0 up yeah, as well? Yeah, really happy with that. I think, uh, like I say, in the first half, uh, we did well keeping the ball in the other the other half for quite a good bit. But second half, we played mainly in Dumbarton's half. Didn't you know, There was a lot of balls around the middle of the pitch, but there weren't really too many um, times that we were having to defend around our own goal. So, yeah, we managed all that well. And it's it's a, it's a important now that we see consistency on those things that we that we did well today. We have to keep seeing them you know, week after week, game after game, minute after minute in the game. And, um, that, that we showed, showed that we could do that today, but we need to make sure we're ready to do it again next week. But for a few last-ditch blocks that were, that were excellent, I have to say, uh, the game could have been put to bed earlier, do you think? Yeah, there's one that stands out near the end of the first half with Charlie. looked like he'd scored. It was a great block, went over the bar. Um, so that was the one that stands out in my head. But yeah, it could have been more. Um, looked like we scored a good goal from Aaron's uh, header. I couldn't tell if that was offside. Um, and there was one in the first half where Charlie got sprung in, and I don't think that was offside because I was right in line with it. Um, so those two moments could have could have made a difference. But overall, I think we could be really happy with that today. We, got, we went away from home, coming off the, the back of a bad result. And, uh, you know, lots of questions being asked of us, and I think we answered a few today, and, you know, we need to keep keep answering them. Jay's, uh, Kavia and Lee Griffiths both kind of went off and only had a, a few Knocks are in the wars a bit today. Uh, is there anything to worry about with those two, or is no, it just precautionary? No, I, think just, I think they're fine. I think we want to just uh, get more more energy on there at the end of the game. I thought Jamie Wilson came on and did well, closed down a lot that stopped uh, De Barton building out. Um, again, the pitch is quite heavy, so the forwards making a lot of runs in behind and so on. They, they're going to get tired, so just wanted to save their legs a bit. And then just continuing on the, the kind of injury and squad front, um, Callum Morrison and Paul Dixon weren't there today. Is that yeah. injury related as well? Uh, yeah, um, hopefully they'll be they'll be back soon though and um, be in contention. Uh, and just finally, Martin, obviously it's the, the long trip north to, to Peterhead next yeah. weekend. Give us your thoughts on that one. Yeah, I haven't really thought about it too much. Uh, you know, just looking forward to relaxing a little bit tonight and then starting to look at uh, next week and get back into training. I think the players really showed real, real, a really good ability to bounce back from a disappointing game last week, so that hopefully gives them confidence. And now we're looking for consistency, and um, we've, we, I think we can look to, to start seeing that, and that's what I'll be hoping for next week. Well, here's hoping, Martin, as always. Thanks for right. your time. Thank you.